do I like being uh, a little bit of the, you know, a little bit of the troublemaker? And maybe there's a little part of that. I was kind of raised in eastern Washington, northern Idaho, and then spent a lot of time in southern uh, southeast British Columbia. That is, frankly, the land of the big landscape. That has a lot to do with how I approach architecture. Spent more time climbing mountains in my 30s than I really did in architecture. Rick Joy and I both share that sort of experience that we had our lost years. And I looked on those years as sort of wasted time to, the, to what I'm doing right now. But in fact, it was probably one of the, the most important times. Mountain climbing is all about, not about getting to the top. It's about how elegantly, how cleanly, efficiently, and lightly you can get to the top. So it's all about solving problems as you go, much like architecture. This is not the strongest project I ever worked on. This is, doesn't have all the, the best stuff in it, but it's my, my wife it's our, and I, it's our house. And we call it Hot Rod House because it is sort of like a hot rod. It's basically taking something and sort of tweaking it and learning things from it. Obviously, we don't have the money to really be able to do what some of my clients ask me to do. So we would take our money and pool it into things that we wanted to experiment with. One of the things being a stair that basically was taking the idea that sort of work, works its way through the house and becomes a bridge based on the idea of origami where you can take a flat piece of steel that's sort of wobbly in, in, in its uh, two dimensions and then turn it into a three, dimension bo three dimensional box and make a sculpture out of it. But there's always one chance in your career where you're going to have a great client. This was, this was my great client. That was at a point in my career where I had done the apprenticeship, I had become comfortable with my own voice and understood it and understood the, the, what I was doing as an architect. And that she was a client that clearly recognized something in me, that there was sort of a connection and then, yeah, the two of us. Um, with uh, um, some craftspeople and interior designer uh, just made something that changed my career, frankly. And it was because we meshed so clearly on almost unspoken in what was important to us to do. Big project for me, Mission Hill Winery. This is, this is the one Chase was mentioning that was in the book, Liquid Stone. Once in a lifetime opportunity for me. These are the craftspeople, these guys built this exquisite winery. All they had done before this was water treatment plants, sewage treatment plants, and highways. They didn't trust us at all. But they thought we were just a bunch of architects with fancy shoes and, and big words, and uh, they turned out to be very close friends, terrific people. Then after a while, they realized that we were really pretty serious about what we did, and they did so much to make this project better because of the kind of commitment they made into this project. They took these big barrel vaults and they actually scribed them. You know, we didn't know, if the, you, you'd never really ask somebody to scribe in, um, you know, board form concrete into a, a rough, blasted out rock wall like that. They were willing to do it. So everything in the building is built like great big cookies, great big sort of parts and pieces sort of assembled. And it's all about concrete, and basically it's trying to, trying to crescendo at that sort of center point at the uh, tower. Right now I'm exploring a very inexpensive building in the Capitol Hill area of Seattle that just, got, just was finished, and clearly it's intended to wake up the neighborhood. This is a very interesting owner because this is an owner that didn't want high-end um, uh, condominiums. She wanted condominiums that were affordable to the people that would use the street down below. People always ask me, what do you advise students as they're going into the profession of architecture? Is be patient, a good client will come along, and be really careful about how you sort of harvest what's really personal and, and near and dear. Architecture, it couldn't be a better profession for that. Thanks.